Daisy, it was a blast from the past. Since the moment I walked into the JNV Collector's Expo, Nintendo 64, Game Boys, Pokemon cards, even autographed Stan Lee comic books, all for sale. But these collector items go for some serious cash. Vendors tell us the profits will put their kids through college. Collecting comic books has been Nicolas Gomez's hobby since 1989. He enjoyed it so much, he started collecting cards and video games as well. It became his addiction. But four years ago, his wife told him she'd had enough. In the beginning, she was kind of upset. But then she found out what was the real price of it. So then she said, okay, you can buy it. The couple agreed Nicholas could continue collecting as long as he was also selling and making a profit. So Nicholas started going to collector's expos. He quickly realized that things he'd bought in the 90s for $40 were now selling for $300. A Dallas Cowboys poster signed by eight players reached the $800 mark. Nicholas says his collectibles are valued in the thousands. In reality, the more you collect, the better for you. And I guess in the long run, you, you can make a little bit of money out of it. The money he's now making off his hobby, he says, will help pay for his three kids' college education. Nowadays, college tuition at in-state public schools averages over $22,000, private colleges over $44,000. The cost of education is one of the reasons why Edinburgh couple Hector Chapa and Jackie Munoz started collecting two years ago. It's an investment. We see it as an investment for our future. Uh, a lot of people see it as a retirement investment. and I mean, yeah. it, just different, different things can work yeah, out Yeah, this there. could be our fallback to take care of our kids, you know, for our future as a family. Hector and Jackie travel across Texas buying collectibles, even getting them signed by their creators or the actors who portrayed certain figures. They look for certain factors that can increase a collectible's value. The condition, rarity, addition, and how old an item is. And they aren't kidding. I did some research and on eBay, 45 Superman trading cards from 1940 go for $2,000. It's a hobby that for many of these collectors is now a huge profit. Our goal is what we want to give other people that opportunity to give whatever they value most signed by whatever artist, whether it be a comic book or, or a, a Marvel figure getting it signed by Stan Lee. Now, Daisy, I did some research about how much I could make off the comic books, dolls, cards, video games, and toys that I had as a kid. It turns out if I sold them now, I could make over $20,000. Sadly, my parents gave them away. So parents, it might be a good idea to store your kids' toys. In the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.